even though, you know, scandal is a, you know, this sort of wonderful uh, guilty pleasure, this sort of political pot boiler that, that, that Shonda Rhimes keeps spinning to, to, to our enjoyment uh, every week, the casting of, of Kerry Washington in that show, I think, is is fantastic, and I think that's I think it's in some ways very groundbreaking. I think the work that Shonda Rhimes did in casting Grey's Anatomy was you know groundbreaking, and not groundbreaking that we never had black actors play those roles before, but to have black actors be part of the mix of mm-hmm. people and just be characters separate from race, uh, whether it's Asian or black or whatever or Latino and have them just be part of a friendship or part of your colleagues who have, you know, love affairs or professional crises. I mean, those things, I think, I think those things are groundbreaking because of how we're treated in those situations that we're dealt with as just equal human beings. I think that's great. Um, And, uh, but, you know, we see it too, all too little. I'd like to see it more. Uh, There's more attention now, I think, to Latino characters uh, at least people say there's more attention. They want there to be more attention because we realize uh, what a big part of the population they are, and I'd like to see more of that. Um, so it's it's always hard to measure how things are changing because they the change never seems to stick. You We sort of do something we all think is great, and then you look a few years later, and then there's nobody on television. I mean, I think last year... The, the record or whatever, the, the publication of the stats of the number of black people and other minorities in, you know, uh, major roles uh, was greatly diminished. The number of women directors is so much lower than we, we would imagine and that the talent demands. And so these are battles that continue and we have to stay vigilant and we have to keep being conscious of it. And it's up to creative people, I think, to really make the difference, too. I mean, the executive producers, the writers, the people who run the shows, uh, as well as the networks, clearly, to be really mindful and and, and, and try to try to stay broad in their thinking. Um, so that battle goes on. Here's the power of a producer. Yeah. You could basically look at Shonda Rhimes and you would say, okay, well, yeah, that's true on Grey's Anatomy. It was true on Private Practice. It's true in Scandal. Right. So they're all coming yeah. from one producer who happens to be incredibly talented and prolific and who happens to be African-American who is creating change. So that's incredibly dynamic. And it, one, speaks to the power of one individual in power. But at the same time, it's kind of sad because it's all coming from this one person. I'm not to say I'm not saying that there's not other examples, but clearly that's a big piece of whatever examples we can make. So we need other people to be thinking that way. And so I'm happy when we see that. Uh, I, w- I would hope that everybody's happy when we see that because it feels like the, the culture and the country have moved on. Television has always been behind the culture. It's, it's very rarely led the culture. It's always playing catch up. And, and I think we continue to, to play catch up uh, in, in television with where the culture is. I mean, you know, where young people are and the lives they really lead and the friends they have and the things that they do. You know, we're, we're just we're just catching up because we're being safer. Cable's helped that a little bit because you, you're not playing to such a, you don't have to play to such a broad audience. Um, but we've got a lot of work to do.